Student and student clubs were honored at the Hats Off to Excellence Awards. We were there. And the Lookouts beat the Chattanooga State Tigers once again in the Tuesday night preseason expo game. Those stories and more on Today at Chat State. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chad. And I'm Penny. So Chad, are you ready for the semester to end? Well, I'm kind of sad it's about to be over, but I guess good things have to come to an end. That's true. In campus news, Dr. Kaku visited campus on Thursday, <laughs> April 5th. The world-renowned physicist is speaking on physics of the future and will likely draw a large crowd. Following on the heels of Neil deGrasse Tyson, Dr. Kaku rounds out a year of high-profile lectures. So Penny, have you seen any of these speakers? I have actually. I went last night. It was really interesting. That's awesome. Did you know that uh, riding horses can be used as therapy? Kayla Perkowski got to sit down with uh, Dottie Davis from Hickson Therapeutic Riding Program last week and learn more about it. Yeah. Here we are at the Hickson Therapeutic Riding Program where we're about to take a little preview of what they do here. Rachel, how is therapeutic horseback riding beneficial for clients? Well, it's beneficial in physical and mental ways. Physically, special needs clients often have uh, poor muscle tone in their core body, their legs, even their arms. And even if the person is passive, the motion of the horse helps exercise the core body. Everything we can to make it an interactive experience for them. We play games with them, they play basketball. Um, just all kinds of toys that we do. And we get them to stand up, we try to get them to strengthen all the muscles that they can. And we also work on their balance, which is usually an area of need. So often these children especially live very controlled lives. They're, they might be in special needs classrooms, they go to therapy, they're in a, a therapy room, they're working with machines. And, and all of that is very good. But here they're on a horse, they're outside. And it's just, it's a great freedom for them. But Prater Willie is? Uh, Prater Willie syndrome is when a child is born, they have no muscle tone at all. And they have uh, not even enough to suck. They have to, and my grandson Fisher, he, when he was born and diagnosed with it, he was on a feeding tube for a year and I know how when little babies are asleep you pick their arm up and it drops. He was like that the whole year. His head and everything you had to be very careful with. It. I'm here with Valerie. Can you tell me any special or experience that you've had or a favorite client you have? Uh, I work with a kid. He's 15 years old. He, um, his name's Zach. I'm not sure exactly what he has but I know he has some kind of Muscle, def muscle deficiency where he, he's very weak in his legs and he has some extra ribs so he has no upper body strength or no lower body strength. Alright, Philip, you're about to get on a horse. How are you feeling about this? Kind of shook up. I've never got on a horse before but I gotta tough it out. Yeah, you gotta face your fear someday. Yeah. You can do it. If the kids out here can do it, hopefully I can. Uh, Although he was nervous at first, Philip stepped up like some of the kids do every day at their therapeutic lessons, and he conquered his fears. Grab the reins and run. Grab the run. Good job. That was awesome. Well, the Chattanooga State Tigers baseball team put up a good fight, but succumbed to the lookouts again this year. Behind the pitcher. For seven years in a row, the Chattanooga Lookouts have played against Chattanooga State in preseason exhibition games, and they've won every year. The final score this year was 1-0. to zero. The Tigers giving the Lookouts quite the scare. The Lookouts scored the game's only run in the third inning. Here's wishing both teams successful seasons this year. Only a few weeks ago, many local residents' lives were changed by February's tornadoes. Local musicians are banding together to help victims of the tornado damage. The event will take place May 19th at Sky Zoo in Chattanooga, Tennessee. They expect a huge turnout. Yeah, it's going to be a big event down downtown Chattanooga. Big benefit concert to assist Salvation Army and all the tornado victims. 
recently in Chattanooga and the surrounding area. And you're gonna see such acts as Never Surrender, Choke Slam, Danger Kitty, Voltage Cult, Scent of Remains, many more. We got bands coming in from Atlanta and Knoxville. It's a $10 donation at the door to get in. It goes to Salvation Army. And you'll be entered for some giveaways we're having, like Pickers Exchange is gonna be down there giving away a guitar, a Fender Squire. So, uh, you know, that, that's, that can make it worth your while right there. So we'll see you in downtown Chattanooga. Local student filmmakers have a big premiere coming up. It's called the Broad Street Film Festival. Here's Tim Gray with more. There's five main schools involved in the Broad Street Film Festival. Uh, it started with Covenant College and Bryan College, and now Southern Adventist, um, Chattanooga State, and UTC have been involved, and then also Lee University uh, might be submitting this year as well. The uh, Chattanooga State Media Club has, I think, two or three films that they're going to be submitting, and then we're glad to have anybody else uh, submit from Chattanooga State as well. Jacob, a Chattanooga State student, said that his film is about a guy named Joe who can't see his emotions but are personified into different characters that are around him. The Broad Street Film Festival is April 19th at 6 p.m. and 9 p.m. at the Carmike Majestic 12 Theater located at 311 Broad Street. Saturday, April 21st at 8.30 p.m. is the awards ceremony. Admission for Thursday and Saturday are $10 for students and $12 for the public. Groups of 10 people or more is $5 per person. On Tuesday, April 3rd, the Hats Off to Excellence Awards was held at the C.C. Bond Humanities Auditorium. The Chattanooga State Media Club. <laughs> students and staff came together to recognize the achievements of Chattanooga State students. Among many of the awards recipients, the Media Club was honored with the Club of the Year Award, along with your truly, Chad Wilson, who received Most Outstanding Media Technology Student Award and a Media Club Award for my term as president. I was at the Hats Off to Excellence Awards, and as president of the Media Club, I was honored with the Club of the Year Award. I was very honored to accept. I feel like it's a great uh, time to acknowledge all the achievements the students have done. I just wish there was more uh, organization to it. It was a little uh, scattered. We didn't know where to sit, uh, when to go up to or receive the award even. So. Good job, Chad. Thanks, Penny. <laughs> well, that's it for today at Chad State. Be sure to check us out online at Comcast Channel, Cable Channel 3. Also, don't forget about the Broad Street Film Festival coming up on April 19th, where student films will be shown at the Majestic 12 Theater downtown. Have a great day.